Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets. I'm Marky e. Mark, and today I'm reporting from France on our two week summer holidays. And we're at a fabulous five star campsite. It's absolutely amazing. It's a Euro campsite, and if you want the details, in the description below. And it's called La Croix du Vieux Pont. And that means in French, translate into English, the cross of the old bridge. And it's just situated between Paris and Rems, the great, great city of Rems. And it's about 100 kilometers from Calais. So basically you can come over by ferry or Euro tunnel, get here within an hour and set up. And you have got an absolutely amazing campsite here with so many facilities. We're gonna take you through those facilities in this little review and just show you what you've got to expect. So. Without further ado, let's dig into this. Now, in the introduction, I did mention that this is a Eurocamp or Eurocamp campsite. And I, I think there's little areas of the park which are Eurocamp and others which are probably privately owned. Uh, behind me, we've got the indoor pool and connected to it is a great outdoor pool. The indoor pool's got a couple of uh, sort of pipes, water slides, and then the outdoor pool is much colder. Indoor is really heated. There's a great bar area. So we've got pizzas and burgers and ice cream over there. And then along here, later in the day, this will be selling ice cream. And then we got the nice restaurant area here. So it's not open at the moment, but a bit more expensive, but a really nice place to have some food in the evening with a glass of wine. Just carrying on now. There's an outdoor bar, games room, and we're back to the area with the outdoor pool. bar area there, people enjoying themselves. And then here's the pool area. Plenty of chairs free. What time is it at the moment? 11 in the morning. It's fairly overcast day today, but we've had glorious sunshine. Now this pool is cold, really cold. Uh, but when it's hot, you want that coldness. And then inside over there, there's a heated pool. Fantastic indoor pool. With seating all around. We've got the water slide over there. Absolutely brilliant. You do not need to leave sight. That's what I found at this campsite. It's got everything on board. And, you know, what more could you want? Saying that though, you can tell there is a lot of people here. So if you are the kind of person who just likes to hide away when on holiday, doesn't like hordes of people then this place isn't for you it's it's family friendly there's a load of kids a load of families from all different nationalities and as a result it can be quite hectic difficult to chill out but because the site is so big you can always find a quiet shady spot to read a book or just go for a solo jog or something like that you know it, it does cater for everybody but you know Overall, it does have a feeling of busyness and activity. So I would say look elsewhere if that's not your bag. As I mentioned, this is an absolutely enormous campsite. It's got roads, streets, shops on site. Just inside one of the shops. Sells everything from spare camp and stuff to clothes. Pretty cool. So as mentioned, this campsite is based just between Paris and Rems in a little village called Bernie Riviere. What makes this campsite special is A, the pitches. Every pitch is sort of isolated. You've got a little hedge or a little fence. It's perfectly manicured. There's trees everywhere. So you just, you can have a static caravan like this, drive your car in. Or alternatively, you can pitch up your motorhome, 
There's no tents here. It's caravans, motorhomes, and statics. But the landscape on offer, I mean, just look at this. This lake, you know, I'm filming at 7 p.m. now, probably 7.30. In the daytime, all those uh, flamingos over there in the distance, <laughs> flamingo boats, I mean, uh, I've heard it all now. Sailing around on the lake, and I'll try and get some footage of that, but this is amazing. This is just here. You can, you know, sit around, have a drink, bring your chair. So this is a typical pitch size you get at this campsite. It's huge. So you've got a fairly nice grass area with a sort of patio area here. And then you even have a sort of building for barbecuing. So if we go inside here, you know, they provide tables, chairs. Yeah, it's a bit rough. You know, it's been obviously been used in anger, but you've got like a, a sort of grill area here where you can do barbecues or just sit in if it starts raining, which isn't likely today with these sort of blue skies. Uh, gorgeous day, actually. It's been a great couple of weeks in France. So that's the typical pitch that you can get. But as I said, you can also sort of rent out chalets, static caravans. So any sort of living, camping accommodation is possible. Now every campsite lives and dies on its, the state of its toilets and showers. Now the, the toilets at this place are unisex, which some people don't like. So that means if you go into a cubicle, you might have a man or a woman next to you in the next cubicle. So that's a little disconcerting if you're like me, but you soon get used to it. The toilets, we have had a few problems with the toilets here. I've noticed that sometimes they get blocked and uh, they're full of stuff you don't want to be seeing when you walk in, but you just choose another one. Uh, that would be one of my major criticisms of this place. Uh, but the toilet actual quality of the uh, bathroom equipment is fine. The showers, are reasonable and you get your own little cubicle with a mirror, a sink and a shower. I'll try and get some footage of that just to show you. Overall, and there's loads of these toilet blocks all over the place. So, you know, there's this huge one here, but then by the lakes, by the bars, you're not gonna get caught short in any way. So I'm in the shower now. One little thing I've noticed uh, at this campsite is that the light doesn't come on until you turn the lock on the door. So if I turn on this, now the light's on. So that's quite interesting. You can be in the pitch black until you lock the cubicle door. So this is the shower. Um, so let me switch screen, wide angle lens. So you've got a, it's all sort of tiled flooring. You, it's all sort of self-contained, so you don't have to share the shower with other people. There's several showers in this block. You've got a mirror, a little shelf, and a sink. Coat hangers, or put your clothes up. And then here, so I think, I'm not sure they've been washed, cleaned yet this morning, but you know, they're reasonable showers. Yeah, there's a crack in the tile, but the space is pretty good, and the fact that you've got your own space, there's no shower curtains, it's like a wet room, really. So I think that's worth, you know, pretty good. Let's put this shower on. I have noticed that they don't last that long. So you've got to keep pressing the button. You know, it only lasts maybe five seconds before it switches off. So you've got to keep your hand on that button. So that's a slight downside. But overall, shower's pretty good. In terms of dishwashing, really good sinks here hot and cold water, large sink area, and plenty of them. I haven't seen many people using these. Uh, so you've got no problem washing up. So one thing we found out about this campsite is slightly strange. Today is Saturday and everything is shut. So not only are the flamingos, the boats, the kayaks not working, the shops aren't open, the, the bar isn't open even. Um, I can't believe this, it's like the busiest day of the week. Unbelievable. And the campsite has even got its own app. But the thing is we downloaded that and couldn't really find any useful information on it at all. 
It's like there's, they've got a template and then just not filled in the essential uh, information. If I just quickly show you, so this is the app, but you click on say useful information and there's just three things to say, inventory, and it just gives you a list of things in French of no use whatsoever. If we go to shops and services, for example, it's just got something about health. You click that, hospital, gives you the address of the local hospital. So, pretty useless app in our opinion. You can't even book lunch or dinner in the restaurant. And, uh, yeah, not great. For me, one of the pièces de résistance of this campsite is this man-made lagoon behind me here with its own sandy beach. It's got a sort of beachside bar at the end called La Plage. We can get cocktails, pizzas, not that expensive. And it really feels like you're yeah, on the Mediterranean uh, or the Côte d'Azur. Fantastic, and the water's warm. You can swim in there till pitch black at night, 10 o'clock, 11 p.m. And actually, it started raining last night, like a thunderstorm, and we were swimming out there. No lightning, didn't want to get fried, but it was just a great experience. Uh, and then there's another lake there as well as a further lake a bit further on. So in terms of space, countryside, and you know, sort of water facilities, this campsite is second to none in my opinion. So what do I think in summary for this campsite? La Croix du Vieux Pont in Bernie Riviere. Well, we've been here for four days and it's been really, really good in my opinion. The facilities are excellent, the bars, the restaurants, the surrounding countryside, the lakes, the, the water sports, the canoes and, and uh, kayaks and you know climbing walls. So in terms of a family entertainment, it's second to none. The weather's helped as well, of course. But there have been some downsides and it's worth pointing them out. So firstly, there's the app, which is meant to help you get around. You know, that didn't work, there was no information in it. Uh, some things also didn't work in the campsite, so found some toilets blocked up. Oh, it's not a nice experience that. There's other ones to go to, but you just don't want to see it. At one of the swimming pools, the, uh, there were some high pressure, sort of massaging water sprays, they weren't working. Uh, but, you know, that's a minor thing. And also in the shower I found, you would hold the button in to get the shower working and then as soon as you removed your hand the water would stop. You know, just slightly irritating things. Um, in terms of location, it's it's pretty good. We haven't left the site at all. It's got everything you need. It's got shops, the restaurants, as I say. So I think you come to this place basically just to stay here, zone out, bring your kids. They, they're perfectly safe to walk around. So. It's, it's a great family site. If you don't like people, you don't like throngs of hordes of hordes of people walking around. You can even see in the background here, people just walking around everywhere. If you don't like that, then this isn't the site for you. But it's in a good location. As I said, 230 kilometers from Calais. It doesn't take long to get here from the UK. Um, it's between Paris and Rems. It's quite close to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland uh, a few days ago and had a great time. So it's convenient from that point of view. Overall, I definitely recommend it if you like the big, busy sites with lots to do. Um, so on that note, I'll leave you. I'm going back to my holiday. Please like and subscribe to this video. I'm trying to grow the channel and uh, your subscriptions and your likes really help us do that. Anyway, I've been Marky Mark from Camping Secrets on holiday in France, absolutely amazing. Back to the grindstone tomorrow, we're heading back and I'll be sharing more videos in the near future. So, cheerio.